rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is the March 9th regular council meeting, and I will read the Sunshine Statement. Pursuant to Section 5, Chapter 231, Public Laws of 1975, this is to state for the record that adequate notice of this meeting has been provided to the public by posting and maintaining the notice of the regular meetings on the bulletin board in the municipal building by providing a copy of the annual notice of regular meetings for the new year, year 2020 to the Glenridge paper, the Glenridge Voice, the Montclair Times, and the Star Ledger on Tuesday, January 7, 2020, and by filling, filing said notice in the office of the municipal clerk. Um, can you uh, please call the roll? Yes. Uh, Mayor Patrick is absent. Councillor Hughes is absent. Councillor Vistovich is absent. Councillor Mann. Here. Councilor Morrow? Here. Council President Murphy? Here. And we have quorum. Oh, yes, uh, Council President, we have quorum. Thank you very much. Uh, clerk, um, can you present, uh, I'm sorry, um, can I have a uh, vote for the approval of the minutes of the February 24th, 2020 meeting? Oh. Yeah, I'll move to okay. approve the minutes. We have a motion by Councillor Manns. A second. I'll second. Thank you. Uh, please call the roll. Yes, Councillor Manns. Uh, Law. Aye. Morrow. Aye. Council President Murphy. Uh, aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Thank you. And uh, presentation of the written communications. Okay, I've got Thank you. Thank you, Okay, we have plenty tonight. Okay. Um, we have a letter from uh, Jim O'Grady and the Kiwanis. Um, Club Memorial Day Parade Committee um, offering their services to host the annual Memorial Day Parade and Ceremony on Mar uh, Monday, May 25th, 2020, and he has also requested acceptance of his services in writing. Um, we have a letter from can Meredith. I just have a sure. comment on that? Uh, can we just be sure if they have any protocol for who's accepted or not accepted in the parade that we understand that in writing up front? And next we have um, a letter from Meredith Eaton on behalf of the Gasland players requesting to be the host and beneficiary of a um, 2021 Mayor's Gala. <coughs> we also received a letter from Elizabeth Milner, who was the president of the League of Women um, Voters of the Montclair area, thanking the mayor and council um, for um, the 100th year of service proclamation that we read at the last meeting. We received a fun letter from the letter of the, um, the superintendent of elections uh, for Essex County um, announcing that due to some unforeseen events, um, the rollout of the new voting machines that was going to happen has been delayed. Um, and moving forward, select counties and polling places um, are going to, just a few are going to test them out in the April and May school board elections. Um, and again in the June primary, but the remaining municipalities, including our municipality, um, we'll be rolling out the new machines for the uh, 2020 general election. Um, we received a notice of public hearing from the Passaic Valley Sewerage Commission um, that there will be a public hearing held on Friday, March 27, 2020, with regards to a um, reconsideration of a connection fee uh, for a property located in Patterson. And lastly, we received a notice from um, County Executive Jody Vincenzo announcing the um, rescheduled date for the African American History Month celebration, um, which will now be held on Friday, March 20th at 11.15 a.m. at the Essex County Hall of Records. This con concludes the first comment. Very good. Um, there will be no comments uh, of the mayor tonight because the mayor is not here. Uh, we have a gentleman um, seated in the gallery. Uh, do we have any comments from the public? Councilor Manns, um, Finance and Administration Committee report and some resolutions and ordinances. Yes, and um, Councilor Hughes is absent tonight. Uh, I do not have a committee report, but I have a resolution and two ordinances for final readings. Resolution. 
Motion number 5120, uh, be it resolved that the following claim to be approved as Morris B. Drop for the same and as a Morris Smith resolution. Uh, and there's a resolution. We have resolution uh, 51-20 claims. Um, authorizes payment of bills. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Anne Marie. Um, could you call the roll, please? Councillor Spans? Aye. Law? Aye. Mara? Aye. Council President Murphy? Aye. Four ayes, no nays, the motion carries. Thank you. Council President, I have an ordinance 1729 for final reading. Uh, Mr. Mayor, this is to state for the record that the ordinance has been published and posted, posted in accordance with the statute. Okay. Um, with uh, Do we have any comments from the public with regard to this ordinance? With no further comments forthcoming, I declare this public hearing closed. Am I doing this right? Thank you. Um, Council President, I move that this ordinance be finally passed. Thank you. We have a... Um, uh, do we have a second? I second. Thank you, Councillor. Um, you have heard this motion of Council uh, Person Mans and the seconded by uh, Council Person Laws. Uh, will the clerk, clerk please call the roll? <coughs> Councillor Mans? Aye. Law? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Council President Murphy? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The ordinance is passed on final reading. Very good. the meeting open for discussion of this ordinance and only this ordinance, this being the time and place for the public hearing. And Mr. Mayor, I um, would like to take a moment to state for the record that this ordinance has been published and posted in accordance with the statute. Thank you. Um, with no uh, further comments forthcoming, I declare this public hearing closed. Council President, I move that this ordinance be finally passed. I second. Very good. I have a um, motion by Councillor Manns with a second by Councillor Laws. Um, uh, can you please call the roll? Yes, sir. I'll Councilor get this right. Uh, Manns? Aye. Law? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Council President Murphy? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The ordinance is adopted on final reading. Very good. Thank you Council very much. President, that's all I have. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Councillor Manns. Uh, Councillor Law? Yes, the uh, public safety I have resolution 5220 related to uh, a raffle license for the Glen Ridge High School Home and School Association. The resolution authorized the Home and School Association to conduct an on-premise 50-50 raffle on April 3rd and April 4th, 2020, and it'll be conducted at the Glen Ridge High School. I make a motion to move the resolution. Uh, we have a um, motion for resolution 52-20. Do we have a second? A second. Thank, thank you, Anne Marie. Uh, can uh, clerk, can you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Councillor Schmanz? Aye. Law? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Council President Murphy? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Thank you. I also have resolution 5320 related to uh, uh, annual fireworks uh, display at the Glen Ridge, High School, uh, the Glen Ridge Country Club. The resolution authorizes the Glen Ridge Country Club to host the annual fireworks display on Saturday, July 4th, 2020, between 8.45 and 10 p.m. Uh, the clerks of the surrounding municipalities have been uh, provided notice of this firework display. Uh, I make a motion to move the resolution. We have a resolution 53-20 for fireworks at the Glen Ridge Country Club. Do we have a second? A second. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Uh, clerk, can you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Councilor Schmanz? Aye. Law? Aye. Mara? Aye. Council President Murphy? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion I also have resolution 5420 related to shared services for animal control. The resolution authorizes the borough to extend their existing contract with the Township of Bloomfield for animal control services. Um, the annual, um, each year the contract is extended, the annual increase is 2%. The 2020 base contract will be for $17,136. And the, bur the borough will also be separately billed for any boarding of animals. Uh, 
I make a motion to move the resolution. Thank you. We have resolution 54 20, uh, shared services with Bloomfield for animal control. Do we have a second? I'll second. Thank you, uh, Councillor Nance. Uh, clerk, can you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Councillor Nance? Aye. Law? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Council President Murphy? Aye. Four ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Council President, I do not have a report uh, or anything to just bring to the Grand Public Relations Committee. Um, thank you, Councillor Mance, uh, for the brevity. <laughs> I could talk about Bill Grant. We could talk about that. <laughs> um, Councillor Morrow? I uh, will take uh, the Parks and Rec uh, resolution tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. So I have resolution number 55-20, uh, which, uh, let's see. Uh, That's the public works of it, right? Mm -hmm. You're taking the 5520 public works. Uh, I'm taking 5520, the yep. uh, tree. The tree. Trees, yeah. So this resolution will authorize uh, the borough to enter into a contract with plant detectives for the purchase of 92 trees. The contract total is $17,762.50. Uh, the contract will be funded uh, by the capital budget. Uh, the planting of the trees, this contract covers uh, the purchase of the trees. The planting of the trees will be awarded separately. Uh, and the, the plan is for the, the trees <coughs> to be planted by May 31, 2020. Great, we have resolution 55-20, contract for planting of trees. Do we have a second? I second. <coughs> Thank you, um, Councilor Laws. Uh, clerk, can you please call the roll? Yes, Councilor Nance? Aye. Law? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Council President Murphy? Aye. Four ayes, no nays, the motion carries. Great, thank you. Um, Councilor, Councilor uh, Laws, you have a Parks and Rec Committee report tonight? Yes, um, I'm happy to report that the uh, the athletic fields were opened uh, today, and I also have uh, resolution 5620 related to authorizing uh, Turf, Turf Smith LLC uh, to perform work related to uh, field maintenance this year. The resolution authorizes the borough to enter into a contract with Turf Smith LLC for aeration and overseeding and treatment of our athletic fields. The base contract is thirty four thousand seven hundred thirty three dollars and fifty five cents. And there's also an alternate bid um, for 2,400 square feet of additional sod at a cost of $4,004. Um, this annual contract is funded by the Parks Operating Budget. I make a motion to move the resolution. We have resolution 56-20, uh, which authorizes Turf Smith to do aeration and overseeding, plus some, if needed, laying of um, sod. Uh, do we have a second? I'll second. Thank you, Anne Marie. Uh, clerk, can you please call the roll? Yes, sir. Councilor Schnanz? Aye. Law? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Council President Murphy? Yes. Four aye. ayes, no nays. The motion carries. Very good. Councilor Morrow, Planning and Development Committee reports. Just yeah, very to... briefly, Mr. Wonderful. Council President, uh, I will state for the record that the Planning Board is planning on meeting next Wednesday, March 18th at 7.30, uh, and we will be reviewing comments that planning board members uh, presented regarding the draft, the 150-page draft master plan examination report. And thank you for going through it. Yeah, you're welcome. Go ahead. Uh, so that's all I have. Very good, Councilor Morrow. Thank you very much for that report. Um, under the heading of new and unfinished business, since the mayor is not present, I have no comments with regard to that. Oh, I have something to make. Oh, you do? I do. Okay. I have new business. You have an ordinance. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, I was coming to that. Oh, okay. Councilor Manzi, you have an ordinance? I just found out. Um, because we were so efficient in uh, adopting our floodplain mitigation ordinance in the last uh, round of meetings, we took one off the website that was not ready from three months. So we have to do it over again. And I'm told it's new definitions, um, revised definitions, and some other things, but for the most part, it's the same. So, uh, Council President, I have Ordinance Number 1731, an ordinance by the Council amending the Borough of Glenridge Code of Ordinances to repeal Chapter 15.28 Flood Damage Regulations to adopt a new Chapter 15.28 Floodplain Management Regulations to adopt flood hazard maps to, de to designate a floodplain administrator and providing for severability and an effective date uh, for first reading. 
Thank you, Councillor. We have, um, where am I? First reading. Can you need a second? Do we have any um, discussion among the uh, members of the Council with regard to this? Um, seeing that there's no for, uh, comments forthcoming. Um, I'll second. Thank you. And I'll call the roll. Thank you. <laughs> Councillor uh, Nance? Aye. Law? Aye. Mara? Aye. Council President Murphy? Aye. Four ayes, no names. The ordinance is passed on first reading. Excellent. I have no opposition. Very good. Thank you, Councillor Murphy. Uh, we have now comments of the administrator and department heads. Uh, Council President, I'd just like to uh, bring the Council and public up to speed what we're doing in regards to the uh, coronavirus and how it applies to us in Essex County, in particular in Glen Ridge. The chief, the ambulance squad, our Office of Emergency Management has been uh, joining in on phone calls with the county health department, with the state, state health department, and been following this sh issue along. At a local level, uh, we have the Essex County Office of Emergency Management. We will all be gathering on Thursday to, to go through the process of what's happening. Tomorrow night, we'll also be listening. Uh, Mountainside will be hosting a live feed for local officials to dial in and uh, or remote in and listen to what their procedures they're following there. What we're doing specifically in this building and with our facilities, uh, I'll start with Town Hall. Um, everything's getting wiped down by the staff. Uh, in hand, everybody has to chip in with this. We just don't have the ability to have met, uh, cleaning companies throughout. And we're throughout giving all free pets too. Yeah, <laughs> so we're, we're uh, wiping down the bathrooms, doorknobs, railings. That's happening, you know, twice, if not more times per day. And in, in, in this facility, only for members of the public, as you come in, um, we're asking just one person at a time at the counter to maintain that six feet of separation amongst the, the public. Tara had some great thoughts. We now have um, everybody's going after cleaning supplies. We purchased uh, disposable pens. You come <laughs> up, you get a pen, take the pen with you. We don't care what you do with it, but that pen leaves leaves with you, or, or you know. So that that that's what we're doing here to to, to minimize um, or to keep the facility as clean as possible as we can. The jitneys are getting wiped down every day after the morning run, train station as well. Um, from the public safety end, the chief and the ambulance squad, have, uh, the first responders have really been working hard and training up with uh, their fitting of masks. Uh, and and I, I don't want to get too in detail with this, but the, the, they're, they're way ahead of it. The ambulance squad is, you know, more than cleaning their, their yeah, gear. No and uh, the police department is, is, is again, you know, really on, on top of what's going on. And we'd also just like to thank Kind of jumping in with the chiefs here, but the the Glenridge Pharmacy gave us uh, their their N95 masks and what they had in stock and donated them to the police Very department. Nice. Very nice. So, um, and I'll let the chief for further elaborate if she has anything. If I didn't already steal all of her thunder, but I really want to, the chief and the ambulance squad have really been been ahead of the curve on uh, getting this, and it's just a team effort here and the staff and keeping the uh, facilities as tight as we can. And just furthermore, I just want to mention that to the public, if you're not feeling well, don't come here. We have ways we can, we we have ways of helping you out. We can do so many things online. You can give us a call. Um, you know, jitney passes we do online. We do bills online. We do taxes online. Um, give us a call. Um, birth certificates you can call ahead of time and fax in your information. We can clarify everything so by the time you come in here your transaction is very minimal time frame while you're here so you know just if you're not feeling well we will help you out whatever way we can and almost every task that we do we, we can help you out without a, a long or extended person-to-person -person contact especially if you're not feeling well and uh, that's and where if you're not feeling well don't go to the doctor's office if you think you have corona call ahead and they'll walk you through the, the process. Exactly. So you don't want to infect everybody sitting in the doctor's office. Correct. And, that, and that's where we are with that, that, uh, that the staff met today, 
uh, just to walk through what we're doing. We have a, a traditional staff meeting tomorrow, and as we see fit, we'll keep meeting um, as much as possible to keep on top of what's happening. Great. And that's 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 where we are, Council President. Good. Thank you, Michael. Chief. So just to reiterate uh, what Mr. Zakelli said, we're all going to work as department heads to to maintain not only the um, uh, the health and information process for. Uh, for our residents, but to keep our first responders uh, from uh, becoming ill and keeping them uh, safe regarding uh, responding to ambulance calls, calls for service, different things like that. So we've got our protocol set in place as, as the council was in here uh, meeting just about a little bit over an hour ago, but the uh, governor did declare a state of emergency in New Jersey. Uh, most specifically, not that our numbers have changed, but to be able to suspend rules if need be and to be able to uh, work on funding if need be. So um, we're all staying on top of it uh, regarding um, any response uh, from uh, public safety and or as, uh, as Mr. Zakelli said, from, from Borough Hall and our municipal complex and that continue to be so. Great. It's funny, I saw a cartoon in the, in the paper. It was basically a photograph mm -hmm. of a guy who had just gotten pulled over by a, the police department, a crime officer. And he's holding up a sign, you know, I can't roll down my window, I have coronavirus. At this point, um, we have another opportunity for the public to make comments. He's here for a reason. I want to hear Mr. Zakelli's comments. Yeah, no. He, he, he's he's a you know, Glenridge treasure, Michael Zakelli is, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, so, and I didn't have a public works report, but I'm also filled folks in with regard to potholes. The crew has been using the new equipment that they've got, and they're doing an outstanding job filling in the potholes. Um, we're needed throughout the borough, and uh, we identified a water main break on Cross Place, yes. uh, which uh, was really hard to pinpoint, but they were able to do it and um, fix it, somehow fix it, and yeah. it was at the end of the borough, so um, I guess the loss of water was minimal. But, uh, it's just that we've had two breaks this year, which is highly unusual because it's been a very mild winter, and yeah. usually those breaks happen when you have the extreme swings in temperatures, and we've just had such a run of good luck, it was just our time. Having said that, every <laughs> season. gonna kick in and you're, something horrible's gonna happen. Yeah, so uh, we were able to, it was hard to identify because it was a slow leak and we were able to just, what's called a band-aid it, where we apply a compression ring around the crack. Good. So uh, okay. it worked out well, but Excellent. it was just a challenge to identify because it was such a slow leak. Okay, great. Um, Councilor Maro, you have any motion for us? I do, I make a motion to adjourn. Great, all in favor? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dan.